Hey everyone, I'm Scott and welcome to Golden Era. I do occasionally still offer a vintage restoration and refinish service. It's not something that I dedicate a huge amount of time to, but on this occasion I said that I would absolutely do it because I saw the pictures before and I thought, you know what, this is going to be a lot of fun. So in this box, straight from Switzerland, we have a 1961 Fender Telecaster. Let's go and take a look at it. Right, here we go. This is the 60s Tele body, early 60s Tele body. Um, I cleared the bench. I'm going to do this from a point of view stance, which is going to be a bit awkward because I'm trying not to knock the tripod over. And my arms are only so long, this is full reach. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I've had a quick look around the box. I cannot see an easy way into this. I thought it was actually a a uh, seam running down the middle that I could cut, but apparently not. So um, I've got a sharp Stanley knife and I'm actually just going to kind of open it just along here, just along the edges, so we're not going anywhere near the body. Hopefully go in and get it first time. I do vintage restoration stuff, it's just, it's not something that I tend to make a big deal of or celebrate too much because I think it's I guess it's just part of refinishing isn't it so I take everything as it comes if I choose to do it and it just so happens I find I don't know I find I guess I find older stuff a bit more interesting and it helps me to kind of do what I do as well I'm trying to put all this character back into these freshly cut bodies save three seconds of my life. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's have a look. Get this box out of the way. Superb. So there we go, that's... I, th I think he said it's a 61. I think, I could be wrong. Interested to find out if this is actually our original paint. I would assume it. I would assume it is original paint. But at the same time, it's hard to know. I don't know how many times this has been, you know, painted and refinished. And that's one of the things when you look at these. It's one of the things when you look at these bodies. You don't know if they've actually had worked on. You don't know how many times somebody's been at them. It's a lovely weight though. A really nice weight. Um, lovely grain. Here's the dowels that we always look for in the vintage bodies. One there, one there for the pen router. We've still got the ferrules in, so we'll get these in. It's got it's got a nice grain. It, you can kind of feel it a little bit. So um, a couple of refinishes tends to, I don't know, it, it tends to remove any grain filler that was maybe in there before. So if it's already been stripped, you, t you tend to be able to feel that, well, I've found anyway, you tend to feel that grain. You see, there's a couple of, a couple of dings, which I'll get filled back in. At some point, it's had a different jack on it as well. And there's an interesting thing. I've got a way, way off center uh, strap button as well. Way off. Ha! <laughs> That's brilliant. I wonder if this has been refinished, because if it has, obviously, you know, whoever's done it before could, could have uh, thinned the body down. By not doing, I mean, this is what I was saying. It's you know, you're if you're the fifth guy to the body, which I may I may very well be. Then you could be dealing with something that's pretty much that will be very altered by the time that I get it. But yeah, it's really cool, Swamp Ash. Um, 
off seam, off center seam as well. So we've got that join down here. But this is interesting. This kind of maybe it kind of tells me that if it's original, then and it's that's where it was originally drilled, then. That's just another vintage quirky detail that happens. But interestingly enough, this is also kind of sitting off towards this side, just a fraction. So I'm wondering if it's had, if it's been sanded more in the back, if that makes sense. So there's material removed off the back, which has kind of moved this. But if that's original, if somebody's made a cock up with that, then yeah, that's cool. I like it. That's what. These vintage guitars are all about. They're not perfect. They're, there's no magic in them. They're just a, it's an old piece of wood. Or two pieces of wood joined together. But yeah, looking forward to this. So there you go. Just to finish, there's a... There's a front shot. And there's a back shot of it. Cool. Gonna like this. Well, there we go. 1961 two-piece Swamp Pash Fender Telecaster body, possible original finish still in the cavities. I'm going to have a little dig around just to see if there's any router marks in those cavities, but essentially this is, you know, you've got a bit of filling, a bit of green filling to do, a bit of repair work, nothing, nothing drastic. That's part one. Move on to part two very shortly and hopefully do some uh, spray videos as well. Be pretty cool with this one. For now, we'll leave it like that and I'll catch you.